to always water test your tanks before you even do any maintenance or before you even put inside your fish room because if I go down here, voila, a leaky ass boat. I can't believe it guys. I'm getting my dream tank today. So you see this big space, big space, big space, big space. Yes, big space, big space. I'm getting my dream tank today and it's been a tank I've been looking for for like 20 years. I'm picking it up today. I'm on the way now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, my time, PST. I'm gonna pick that tank up. I'm gonna show you guys how big it is, what I gotta go through to get it in here and more growth for the monster fish. And always, this is Ron Johnson, a mental health coach, to be therapist, and monster fish keeper. And this is the fish room. We'll talk about well-being, we'll talk about fish, and there's something big is happening here. It's about eight foot long. That's all I'm gonna say. Eight foot long. All right, guys, more videos coming. Stay tuned. Yet again, another project is coming to the fish room and I already got a pump here and obviously water going there, so I'm doing water change. But what I'm doing, which is different, I got a new tank. It's a 300 gallon tank off the marketplace, but when you buy a tank or any tank that uh, brand new on marketplace, you always gotta water test the tank. So let's take a look what I'm about to do. I'm gonna pretty much take the water from this tank and then I'm open my door here so you guys can see. At least look outside and unlock the door. There's a big tank right there. Okay, so I want to do a different view, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the old water which is in this pump. It's gonna go from this hose on the ground, you can see, and I'm gonna pump it right in my new 300 gallon fish tank. So this tank is, as you can see, is from here. Where my finger at? from here all the way there. So it means it's eight foot long and from here to there is 24 inches wide. So I got it covered because I got it last night, but I'm gonna uncover today. I'm gonna fill it with water, start the water testing because it's part of the process and we're gonna see what happens. So like, I, so like I said, I'm taking old water in this tank. As you can see the pump is pumping in, it's pumping it down and if I go here, and go outside and it's filled the tank. So right now it's doing water testing in the tank. So like I said, the tank is eight foot long, three, two inch, one four inches wide. So you can see how long the tank really is. And you can see right there, already starting to fill up already at the bottom there. Okay guys, so I already filled the tank up at least if I look inside about halfway that's my big water change there i'm going to fill it more unless you guys see the water line probably it's hard to see but it's about right there and the top is right here so it's pretty heavy but good thing the water test because i got here hold my same finger come on the way there one i got two i got three four four inch bulkheads and i got one two three four five six seven eight nine Three quarters bulkhead, and guess what? The one on the bottom, I'm gonna zoom in there, you can see it's already leaking. And there's the water on the ground, and imagine having that kind of water in your tank. So water test, water test, and water test some more. Okay guys, you always water test your tank. So I filled the tank up about, uh, about right there a couple days ago using old aquarium water, and today I filled it all the way to the top, and guess what? That bulkhead is leaking, that bulkhead is leaking, that bulkhead is leaking, and that bulkhead is leaking. So, so far, we got water tape is one, two, three, four, five bulkheads are leaking. So, again, whenever you buy a user equipment online, don't trust what they say when they say nothing's leaking, everything's fine, because you can see 
all the bulkheads are leaking right here at least the bigger ones so i'm going to replace all the bulkheads what the person did is if you go down inside they replaced it with some kind of weird silicone there on a bulkhead i don't know why they did that hoping to seal it but that's a cheap way to do it what you actually want to do is buy a plug and remove the whole bulkhead and actually seal it that way. That's a proper way. Using silicone to seal bulkheads is a cheap and inadequate way to seal a bulkhead on a tank. So again, water test, water test because look what's happened to me. I got tank leaking already. Good thing though is there's no seals leaking. So the tank's not leaking on the top or the bottom, anywhere on there. So keep water testing the tank itself and stay tuned for more videos.